I have owned the Patagonia men's torrent shell rain jacket for a number of years now. It's been on hundreds of miles of hiking and traveling with me. Uh, so I thought it's about time that I give you guys my honest review. Let's go. <laughs> Hello long distance hikers and long term world travellers, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. As I said I've had this jacket for quite some time now, uh, in a bit I'll go over the things that I liked and especially the things that I didn't like so you guys know all about that, but first let's go over some of the features and the specs. Also stick around to the end of this video where you'll get a top tip on waterproof clothing. I bought this jacket back in 2016 for my 6 month travel stint around Southeast Asia, I bought it from an Ellis Brigham shop in London for about 110 quid. I'll put a link below in the description so you can find out where to buy this from and you'll also find my entire kit list there as well. I just needed a really good water resistant breathable shell that was going to compact down really well in my bag and was lightweight. Okay let's talk about some of the features. It has two really good amply sized front zippy pockets. The left pocket acts as a double sliding zipper so it acts as a stuff sack. It has pit zips for venting those sweaty pits. It has velcro adjustable cuff straps. Adjustable straps around the hood and the hips so that you can adjust the fit. A visor cap on the hood and a really high zip to cover the neck. Okay now we've talked about some of the features let's talk about some of the specs. It's made out of two fabrics which are 50 denier nylon ripstop and H2 No. I think H2 No is Patagonia's patented waterproof material. I'm not entirely sure even though it sounds a little bit gimmicky. Overall the jacket weighs just 343 grams which is 12 ounces. Now we've gone over some of the specs and features let's talk about some of the things that I really loved about this jacket. I really love how light and compressible this jacket is. It does have the stuff sack in the left side pocket but I find it actually compresses much better better if you just roll it up really tight and stuff it into the hood. It's a really good fit for walking, I wouldn't say it's a very good jacket to wear while running. It's really simple and minimal and I really love that the zip comes right up to the neck so you can actually tuck your face into the jacket when it gets a bit cold and keep your nose and your face warm, it's really good for that. It's perfect for wearing on top of a base layer or a fleece mid layer, uh, it's also incredibly durable, the stitching on this thing is incredible, uh, I've had this thing for years and there's not really any snags or anything like that, it's still as good as new. Okay, now we've gone over some of the things that I really liked about this jacket, let's talk about some of the things that I just didn't like so much. Is this jacket actually waterproof? Now they say it is on their website, if you go onto the product page of their site there's some copy there that says this is a waterproof jacket, in my opinion nothing is completely and utterly waterproof. When I was in Indonesia I was riding my moped and it completely bucketed it down, I was completely drenched and the rain just cut straight through it, I wasn't working out, I wasn't like walking or anything like that so I wasn't sweating but on the inside it was all quite wet and my base layer was getting soaked as well. However I would say that this jacket is perfectly fine in light or consistent drizzle or like a shower that isn't too heavy. So is this thing waterproof? No it isn't. In really heavy downpours you are going to definitely expect to get wet whilst wearing this thing but what this jacket's going to do and what it does very very well is that it actually extends the amount of time that you stay dry. If you know you're going to be hiking somewhere and it's going to be torrential rain like rainforest style rain then I'll definitely bring this but also bring like a disposable poncho or something like that with you just to give you that added layer of complete and utter waterproof material. If you have a disposable poncho, even though they're not very durable, at least you'll have that layer of completely waterproof plastic that will just allow the rain to run completely off. Another thing I didn't like so much is that even when you're walking with this thing on, with the pit zips open, it doesn't vent very well at all because it's quite a straight fit. Um, you're still going to sweat in this thing anyway. Also when it's in hot conditions and it's raining and you put this thing on and you're hiking, all of the condensation from your sweat just sticks on the inside. So I I really don't enjoy wearing water resistant shells just like this one. I think that's consistent across the, uh, all of the waterproof shells out there. I mean I, I just find it a bit icky when it's hot and rainy and you're walking and you're all covered in sweat so but hey that's part of embracing the suck isn't it. The last thing that I'm not too keen on about this jacket is that quite often the zipper on the way up to do it up gets really stuck. Uh, with a bit of luck it will actually do it right now so I'm going to take it off and there already at the very bottom it's stuck just like that and you have to keep constantly like taking the thing out and then putting it back in and then taking it back out like oh there we go. So it's done it but that's every time. I, I just don't know why they don't design these jackets so that that doesn't happen. It's a bit like a teapot that drips. I just think these things can definitely be easily avoided in the design process and when you're testing them this thing must have been obvious so either I'm doing something wrong 
but how hard can it be to do a zipper up? Um, I don't know. Overall, the Patagonia men's torrent shell water resistant breathable shell is a fantastic jacket. It's made of very high quality materials. It's got a very strong stitch on it. This thing is gonna last me for absolute years. It's comfy to wear, it's a good fit. Obviously there's gonna be a few things that I don't like about it. There's gonna be a few things that you don't like about it, but um, for 110 quid and for this quality and the protection against the elements that it gives you, uh, you can't really complain. Okay, top tip as promised, waterproof clothing is only designed to keep you drier for longer. It doesn't guarantee that you're not gonna get wet. If you're out there in torrential rain, you're gonna get wet. These things are gonna happen. Uh, you just have to embrace that. Obviously, the better the waterproof layer you have, the longer you're going to stay dry, but eventually you're gonna get soaked. So just manage your expectations with this kind of clothing. But I do wish on their website they would say, okay, this is waterproof for like light rain and drizzle, but not for heavy downpours when you're on a moped. I mean, that's quite an extreme kind of case there. I don't like that these companies sometimes make a claim on their websites and it's just not true. So yeah, manage your expectations with that. Okay everyone, uh, campfire question. What waterproof breathable shells do you own and why? Let the Trail Hunter community know in the comments section below. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video everyone. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up. Be sure to watch either of the videos to my site here. Also, if you aren't already, do consider subscribing to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.